But first, Fox 46 continues to follow breaking news in Watonga County. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jason Harper. And I'm Ann Wyatt Little. A deputy and suspect are dead after a very long standoff that started yesterday morning and ended last night. Fox 46's Destiny McKeever joins us live at the Watonga County Sheriff's Office with the latest on this investigation. And Destiny is still a lot, a lot of things uh, unfolding up there in Boone. What do you know right now? Yes, Jason, still a lot of things unfolding, a lot of questions right now, but we do know that deputy and suspect are both dead. We have been here within the last couple hours at the Watauga County Sheriff's Office where there is a growing memorial right outside of the Sheriff's Office, people showing and paying respects for those deputies involved. There is a lot of community support in this, but we learned that Sergeant Chris Ward and Deputy Logan Fox were shot by the suspect after doing a welfare check at the home. Home. We are told initial reports say a couple had not showed up for work, which was alarming to loved ones, and that's why they called 911. The suspect was barricaded inside of the home with K-9 Deputy Logan Fox for over 14 hours, and police and tactical gear showed up from surrounding departments to assist in this standoff. So far, we know the suspect is dead, and Sergeant Chris Ward is also dead. We are working to learn more about that second officer involved in this case and we are working to learn more information about what led to all of this. Of course, as we continue to get updates, we will keep you posted. There is a news conference expected at 10 a.m. where we should get more information. We'll stream it live right here on Fox 46. Live in Boone, I'm Destiny McKeever, Fox 46. Destiny, thank you for the update and we are continuing our coverage of the Boone standoff. A neighbor near the scene of the standoff is joining us now on the phone. Bonnie Burton watched everything unfold over the last 22 hours. Uh, Bonnie, thanks for taking the time to join us. I uh, want to start by saying uh, our thoughts are with you and your neighbors uh, on what unfolded. Can you walk us through uh, what you saw happen yesterday in the morning and, and into the night? Uh, yes. So I'm actually, I came back to the window where I pretty much stayed all day yesterday so I could think about, um, you know, this while I answered your questions. But it started in the morning for me about 1045, although now I know, you know, it, it was, it ha things were happening before then. But I heard a siren go by and another siren go by. And this is a pretty sleepy little place. So I went to the front porch to see what was happening and just then I heard gunfire and of course that was just terrifying and then um, I just watched emergency vehicles pile one after the other after the other into the neighborhood I don't really know how our little neighborhood held all of the people who responded yesterday Bonnie, uh, we know the emotions are still raw this morning, and I think everyone thinks that their neighborhood is the safest neighborhood. That's why you moved to a neighborhood, you know, with you and your family, or maybe you're by yourself. What did that, what did that feel like yesterday uh, as you heard the gunshots ring out, and then you saw more law enforcement pouring in, and then a helicopter, and it just, and then people had to, they were forced out of their homes for safety. What did that feel like was happening in your tight-knit community? Well, you know, I feel like I'm just repeating what people say when this happens in their community. You, you don't really think that it's going to happen in your sleepy place that you mm -hmm. live. Um, actually, our across-the-street neighbors, I saw the police evacuating them from their house, and we called them, called them over to come shelter with us. And we commented many times during the day that, you know, as – as unfortunate and as unexpected and as tragic as these events are, they go along with with the imperfection of humanity. Mm. And so it's you just can't really expect that they're not going to happen in, in your neighborhood. It's, it's just terrible when it does. And Bonnie, we should tell everyone you're a photographer. We're showing some of the pictures that, that you took throughout the day yesterday. Uh, what made you grab your camera and, and just kind of document what what you were seeing outside your neighborhood? Well, it it just felt so, um, it was just so foreign. I mean, every kind of emergency vehicle came through here, big armored trucks and big armored trucks with, with I don't know the technical terms, you know, drilling things on the ends and, and, and any kind of car and, and, 
law enforcement from everywhere. I mean, it's everybody's got a, a camera with them on their phone. And, you know, so that was pretty much what I was using sitting on the floor of, of the upstairs bedroom looking out the window. I, I told my husband, Jonathan, I said, go get the real camera uh, just in case. And he's got a, a nice long lens on it. And so he, he was the one that was taking the pictures with the with the 600 millimeter lens. It just felt like something, I don't know. I, I don't know. You just take pictures of it. I Certainly not to celebrate or glorify what was happening, just more to document. And... And, and for you, uh, Bonnie, uh, not only your neighbors that you are uh, helping shelter, you're consoling them. I'm sure you've had hundreds of texts and phone calls and Facebook messages asking if everyone's okay. But what are you guys as a community and, and neighbors, what are you saying to each other, especially as we're now moving into day two? Well, I, you know, I heard, I heard right before uh, you started the interview with me that they're going to have a, an, another uh, announcement at 10 o'clock to update but of course this is a small community and everybody knows everybody and if you don't know them personally you know someone who knows them personally and so we were um, the four of us our, our neighbors and the two of us we just all day long the phone were ringing and text messages and Facebook messages and we heard lots of things yesterday which I guess have not been confirmed but I would just tell you that uh, you know, that I know someone who personally knew or went to school with or played basketball with the, the with their dad or was the brother-in-law's cousin. Like, everybody knows everybody involved. And um, so it's just this community is, like, I feel like I'm repeating what everyone else says in this kind of situation, but this community is strong. This neighborhood is full of, of good people and we will rally around the ones who have been so hurt by this as best we can and then bonnie we uh i'm sorry no no listen it's it's okay take your time we know well, this is I just, difficult i just wanted to i wanted to say that this community is full of full of faith and they believe that god will sustain God, God will sustain. And it's just that belief and that faith will get this community through this. And sometimes, Bonnie, that faith, that, that's all you have. And uh, when you don't have strength to even stand up on, uh, on days like this. So we thank you for spending some time with us this morning. We know this is not an easy conversation, and we know today won't necessarily be easier than yesterday, but we thank you for your faith. We thank you for sharing that with us and sharing that with your neighbors. Uh, and please keep in touch with us and let us know what we can do. And, and when we say our thoughts and prayers are with you and your community, it's not just a tagline. We, we certainly mean it. So thank you, Bonnie. And uh, we wish you and your family do, the very we, best. We do understand that. And we appreciate the work that you do because we had the TV on upstairs and, and that w was helping us sort of narrate what we were seeing. And so we appreciate your work as well. All right, Bonnie, thank you. We will continue to confirm the latest details as they are still pouring into our newsroom this morning. Bonnie, uh, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. A lot of hearts very thank heavy there in Watauga County yeah. this morning.